KTAR News, 92.3 FM. It's like drinking from a fire hose around here most of the time. We're outspoken inside the war room. A political symposium, if you will. And even <laughs> if you won't, for goodness sakes. We've got uh, Chuck Coughlin. He's a CEO of High Ground Consulting. And Stacey Pearson, co-founder of Lumen Strategies uh, and a, uh, um, a political strategist, if you will, for uh, people with Ds next to their name. Good for you, young lady. All right. Um, we, uh, we, we cannot get away from. And um, it has been, I would say, rumored and hinted at now for weeks about President Biden getting out of the race. If I believe you, Stacey, it's not by coincidence that on the final night of the RNC, <laughs> a few hours with, before, with Donald Trump getting ready to accept the nomination, that it has become a flood of leaks, sources, insiders saying that this is going to happen. Okay. Right. This weekend. This weekend, that it's going to happen in the next couple of days, right? So... Let's look at the scenarios for a second. We've all heard that there's, what, seven battleground states? They're the only ones that matter. If you live in California or New York or Texas, it just doesn't matter. You can vote for yep. every one. It doesn't matter. Um, Arizona matters. Arizona does matter. Arizona is one of those states. Is that why Mark Kelly's name is being bandied about so much right now? Yes, and. Oh. So, yes, Arizona I matters. Don't think of him as a... No offense, right. Senator Kelly, as a distinguished senator. He hasn't been there that long. Right. He's an astronaut, for He's God's astronaut. sake. I love that part. <laughs> but that He's a true. fighter pilot, for <laughs> God's sake. <laughs> the and and bigger... can we also add? Yeah. And he's a victim of gun violence. Yes, yeah. Abby yeah. Gifford's yeah. wife. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Okay, go ahead, Stacey. The, but the other piece of the calculus is states, how states backfill who actually gets the top of the ticket and the vice presidential. Nobody wants a Janet Napolitano situation again, with all due respect, Chuck, <laughs> where Janet Napolitano gets pulled up to the Obama administration, gets backfilled by the Secretary of State, who's a Republican, and it's another 20 Great years. Great Republican governor. Um, I, <laughs> sure. <laughs> but I, so you re, uh, in who's really eligible? If it's a senator, it needs to be a Democratic um, governor, governor, because they would appoint correct. the next senator. And if the it, replacement. Exactly. And if it is a... If it is a governor, their number two needs to be a Democrat as well. Nice. So, which when you whittle that list down, we're really talking about a very few number of states that have eligible people where we don't lose a seat in the in in the Senate, in the Senate. or in the House or lose a a big blue governor. Yeah. Wow. Who are we looking I at? I thought of the governor. Who who are we looking at though? Though for if if Biden were to drop out this weekend, and it looks like that's what's going to happen. Who, it, it, Harris, I guess, is the front runner, but she's not going to be alone. So you no. know Kelly up there? Is he also? I don't think instantaneously. I don't think he's first at the top of the ticket. I think where you got to go back to what we started with here was looking at the battleground states. Yeah. Where can you go? And so who has the money? Pennsylvania, yep. Governor Shapiro. Very new, very uh, new governor, just got elected but, in this last but cycle. But real popular, very right? popular in, 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 in Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania. So yeah. do you pick somebody? Whitmer, Michigan. Michigan. Mm -hmm. Whitmer from Michigan. So do you pick somebody like that because you have to win the state? Because if we look at yeah. Arizona, plus seven for Trump. Uh, Michigan, plus three for Trump. Pennsylvania, plus five for Trump. So those are the three states we're kind of talking about now. Yep. That's why you put somebody there. And it, Illinois, it, it's it, we can't overlook Governor Pritzker in Illinois. Yeah. So the he's but that's all just, that's money, right? Right, and it's also I mean philosophy. Illinois is going to vote yeah. for D. Well, and think big. His his investment arm um, that is investing millions of dollars of his own wealth mm. in abortion initiatives has him in Arizona in the top three individuals who oh. donated. I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah but he, what about ra name recognition? You can buy it. You can buy it. You I mean, still it, have time well, to buy it. People you're, are going to be tuned into this in a way that yeah, you're going to have not you're going to have a wall to wall billboard going on mm -hmm. going into this. It's introducing somebody. I would agree with you with that. That that's Aside part of from Harris, it's part right. of landing that act, right? right that's right, part right. about landing that communications act is is introducing somebody in the confines of this structured environment hopefully a structured environment, not the 68 Republic Democratic Convention, <laughs> but a uh, a convention where you can communicate broadly and get on a track where you can successfully introduce somebody and create all this enthusiasm around. How, how, what percentage do you give uh, Mark Kelly being at the top of the ticket if, if this were to work out that way? 
I don't. I don't. You don't I don't. All. I don't. Not at all. No, I think I'm not going to be say a very serious vice presidential. Candidate. Absolutely. Absolutely. What I, I keep hearing Harris Kelly. Yeah. That's what I hear most out of some of my sources. That would be a good pick for her. Mm. I mean, right? Because he, he picks up Arizona. I mean, Arizona, I think, instantaneously moves into a much more competitive place. And that would be great. Um, and he's young, and he has experience, and he's combat. and uh, Astronaut! 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 <laughs> Paul and my colleague and I at work were joking Military, about that the other day. And, and you can see the commercial. It's just oh, be exactly. nothing but rockets flying. Right. Yeah. They both have military experience. J.D. Vance has military experience. There's, uh, there's a lot there there. Okay. I don't know if Arizona can... I, I think all of us, our brains are going to melt if we have another Senate race. We oh, have, my God. When, that's when, just when, unbelievable. It, mm. Really, 18, 20, 22, 24 than 26 yeah and then the what that his term would be up in 20 it would yeah in 28 so that's yeah. another thing to consider obviously yeah Constantly, I mean, the yeah. rotating cast of characters yeah. that, that's painful like she was saying earlier that's painful to go through that but those are all the kind of things that are going to go into the calculus here of figuring this out and who can raise money who can who can be enthusiastically embraced nationally because we, we were also hearing in some of that reporting that the money is starting to dry up around biden oh yeah that oh, people are starting to yeah. hold on to it and go eh. so hey we've got the war room going on right now at stacy pearson he's chuck coughlin gatos and i thanks for watching outspoken with bruce and gatos tap to watch more from ktar news and click the button in the middle to subscribe